So Hiker sent me this automatic fish feeder and I'm going to do an unboxing as well as get this thing installed. So let's go ahead and get started. Now when I first saw the picture it looked kind of small but once you get this thing opened up it's relatively large. I mean look at this. Look at the size of the reservoir on this thing. Now I have a large pond so this is going to be absolutely killer. I'm going to use my hand as a perspective for size. So one of the first things that I notice is that it comes with these two different augers. One is going to be for less food to come out of the machine and one is going to be more food out of the machine. I've got six koi and they're relatively large but I'm going to shoot with the small one first and if it's not quite enough I'll feed them multiple times a day or I'll have to switch out to this one. It looks like it just goes inside this part here and then there's a cap. Now there is a little rubber seal right here that's going to seal this end cap. And then you're going to connect the ejection tube. It's time to finish getting this thing installed. So first thing I got to do is plug in the power. I've already screwed and mounted it in and already filled it up with food. When it comes to the control board, you can mount it on either side. Now once you get your clock set up, then you can adjust the timing of the feed as well as the quantity. For example, on my first feeding, I've got it set at one quantity, but if I wanted it to feed a little bit more, I could press the quantity button and bring it up to feed more. You can also press hand feed to manually set it off. So one thing to think about too is if the power goes out, there must be some sort of battery because I've unplugged it and plugged it back in and it kept all my existing settings. Um, and I was kind of worried about that because before I used to use a battery uh, pack system, um, but this one's going to be hardwired in, which is nice to be hardwired in so you don't have to worry about batteries. But I was kind of worried about the power outage and if it would reset everything and it held its settings. 